In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five tips to prevent your hair color from fading. Hello spooky bats and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi and welcome my name is Orphea and on my channel I talk about everything that is related to the gods of culture. In today's video I want to talk about the red hair dye that I have on my hair and how I have been maintaining it because there's a lot of things that you can do to have your hair dye fade away very quickly. In today's video I want to share my favorite tips to keep it as long lasting as possible possible and in a future video I will also be sharing the worst things you can do to have your hair fade out very quickly and how to remove hair dye from your hair but that will be another video. So now without further ado let's get started. The first thing that I would massively recommend is using specific shampoo and conditioner that is meant for colored hair. I personally use the Red Can Color Shampoo and Conditioner. I have the bottles, they are the rather big ones and I know they are more expensive to get but they will keep your hair lasting in its color a lot longer. So I use the Red Can Color Shampoos. However, there's a lot of other brands that also have color protect shampoos. The only thing that I want you to specifically look at is that there is no sulfates into the shampoo and conditioner because sulfates make your hair foam a lot more and make sure that the dirt is removed from your scalp even more thoroughly but they also strip hair color from your hair and of course we don't want that we want to keep our not so natural colors lasting as long as possible tip number two is to wash your hair as little as possible. I personally wash my hair twice a week, so every three to four days, and I would even like to extend that a little bit more because the less you wash your hair, the less quickly your hair color will fade. Tip number three actually works with tip number two and it is to use cold water to wash your hair. Now the first time that I dyed my hair red I actually didn't do this. I would use just a regular heat water, so warm lukewarm water to wash myself with to also wash my hair. And I will tell you that after four to six washes the hair dye was completely out of my hair. Now I'm actually committing to washing my hair only with cold water. This doesn't mean I don't take hot showers. I just make sure that my hair is put up in a bun so that the warm water doesn't get onto my hair. This is four washes. It almost looks as if I dyed it yesterday. So it has faded a little bit already, but because I use cold water, the hair color stays in my hair a lot better. So I'm definitely happy that I made the switch to using cold water for my showers. Tip number four, make dry shampoo your best friend. The areas of my head that tend to get greasy and a little bit disgusting are my scalp mainly and more specifically my fringe. So what I started to do is using dry shampoo instead of washing my hair. Now I actually used one by Batiste that is meant for darker hair colors because the top of my head is black hair and it actually works really well. So you will have a little bit of a hue as you first apply it, but as you let it sit in and then brush out, the hue completely disappears from your hair. Now, Batiste is my go-to brand of dry shampoos. It's simply the one that is the most available to me. And if I don't have access to the dark haired one, because for some reason it's often sold out, I like to take the tropical one because it smells so good. So if you don't have dark hair, I would recommend using the tropical one. They also have some that make your hair more voluminous etc it all depends on what you want i know that they have between five to ten different types of dry shampoo that you can try out this of course doesn't mean that other brands of dry shampoo aren't good it's just one that i've been actively using finally tip number five is to mix hair dye into your conditioner I personally don't do this very often. I have done it before and it really helps. So all of the tips that I'm mentioning today are things that I've tried myself to keep my hair dye lasting longer. So if you have a conditioner that you use, I would highly recommend still using a color protect conditioner and you mix in some dye into the conditioner. Every time that you will wash and then condition your hair, a little bit of hair dye will go back into your hair. 
However, if you do this, I would highly recommend using gloves when you apply the conditioner because I have stained my entire hand red once doing this and it lasted for about three times that I had to scrub my hands and wash them intensively. And then of course my hand was irritated because I had scraped off the top layer of it. However, I think it's absolutely worth mixing conditioner into your hair dye because it will make sure that your hair dye lasts longer. And of course you don't need to re-dye it so often as well. And then there's one extra tip, but I haven't tried this one out yet. But if I know how the other tips have worked for me, I will, this one will work too. And it is to heat protect your hair if you're using styling tools. I sometimes use a hair crimper, curler or a flat iron if I need to. However, most of the time I don't. But if you do so, I would highly recommend using a heat protectant spray on your hair. Now I would do this regardless of having colored hair or not. So I don't know if this makes a big difference, but if washing your hair with warm water makes the color come out easier, then I think working with styling tools will do the same as well. So these are the tips on how to keep your hair color long lasting and my five best tips to prevent your hair color from fading. I'm applying all of those to keep my red more intense and actually red. And so far I'm very pleased with the results. If you want to see more about my hair and the hair dyes that I like to use, I will include a playlist about hair dye at the end of this video. So you can easily find everything related to it. Should you still have any questions at all or other tips and tricks that you want to share, feel free to do so in the comment section of this video. I will include all of the products that I use in the description box of this video so that you have a reference point to look at. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. I would love to have you here. Before I end this video, I want to quickly thank my patrons and more specifically my high tier patrons, Anders, Jerry and Jen. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. It means the world to me. And of course, to each and every one of you, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.